hydrogen converting to helium and helium converting to carbon. And the young star now looks like this, hydrogen on the outside, hydrogen converting to helium, helium converting to carbon. So of this list of elements we need, we've now got hydrogen and we've got carbon, but still no oxygen, calcium, iron or potassium. So still no life, not yet. Our sun is a star that has been converting hydrogen to helium. It will not go any further. The sun will ultimately die, and we will die, unless we have got lots of nuclear energy or something like that. And the universe still has only a few chemical elements, not the hundreds that we know of today. Uh, that one. Actually. We'll go back a moment. Um, bigger stars than our sun can do more stages. So we look now to the bigger stars to see how we get more chemical elements. And for example, a group of stars like the Pleiades, the Seven Sisters, are bigger stars, and they are making more chemical elements. So we will now talk about the bigger stars. Bigger stars like the Pleiades um, can take carbon and convert it to, ooh, where am I? This is a very big screen and I don't want to fall off the edge. <laughs> carbon, we will get neon next and um, Oops, sorry, sodium, sodium, neon sodium and magnesium. And in making those chemical elements, the star gives out energy. So it will shine for a bit longer, one of these Pleiades stars, maybe for 600 years. 